I finally made it. Sorry, it's a little, what, two minutes late? Don't tell my manager. I guess it's crooked. There you go. Hi guys, happy Friday. You got your coffees. Cheers. It's Halloween, apparently. Hello, Tammy. Make sure you guys give me coffee emojis throughout the time. Throughout the time. Throughout the live. I'm already sweating a little bit. I wore jeans. What's wrong with me? It's hot. Happy Friday out, Rowdy. Hello, Nanny Tam. Patty's here. Sally's here. Mm. Even though I'm hot and I'm sweating, I'm drinking hot coffee. Isn't that how it is? I saw some of you talking about iced coffees. Oh, Sharon, it's morning there, 8.30. Hello, Holly. Glad you can make it. Hello, Katie. Jamie's here. Carrie's here. Hola, Sarah. Les is here. Good. So we've had some questions about, like, um, chicken stock and stuff. So, and a lot of people are nervous about pressure canning. Um... So I just thought this would be a good one to do because I have some chicken stock. Like we're going to make some in the crock pot from a, uh, you ready? I'm going to say the C word, a carcass. Oh yeah. So we are making a chicken stock from that. It's uh, just a rotisserie chicken from Walmart. Really small, barely had any meat on it. Um, but I'm going to turn, I usually do one chicken per crock pot. So I was like, you know what? I shredded it, used it to make dinner. And then, um, yes, the body. So <laughs> people don't know what carcass is. Thank you, Judy. Carcass is the bones of um, the chicken or the animal, you know. So you can do, um, like, beef bones, make a beef run. Hi, Sammy. How are you? Welcome. <sighs> it's hot today. So that's what I figured we would do. Here's some of it pressure canned up. This is just probably one that's like this versus my turkey broth that I use, like, that I cook in my roaster for like 24 hours. No, no, I do it for 48 hours. This, I let it cook for 48 hours. Some people don't do it for that long. They'll only do overnight, which is fine. It still adds flavor. I like to do for 24 hours or 48 hours to make sure it really absorbs all the nutrients from those bones. Cause there's marrow, what marrow, there, marrow. there's marrow, there's minerals, there's cartilage, all that stuff that's in the bones that gets seeped out into the broth and that's what you're drinking. So that's why broth is so good for you because it has the nutrients from bones, you know? It sounds kind of gross. You know, I'm drinking the broth of bones, you know? But it's so good for you guys and organic bone broth costs so much money and it doesn't have to be that way. You literally can just make your own broth. Not only does it taste better, it's way better for you and it costs less. Like you're pretty much making it, why don't you normally throw this away? You know, so you're making it out of stuff that you normally wouldn't have, you know? And it tastes so good. That's right, Stacy. Oh, Tammy's cleaning. I oil the leftover bones and vegetables. You oil them? Oh, interesting. Drinking the essence of chickens. I still absorb your being. <laughs> oh my gosh, hey Belinda, welcome. My granny cooked her bone broth until you could cut the bone with a fork. That's awesome. I usually try and see if I can snap them, but that's a good too. I don't buy stock anymore since I learned how to make my own years ago. Me too, Sally. This is probably my second year of making my own broth. And I would, I didn't really buy chicken stock to start off with. I wasn't really this big of a cook, you guys. Okay, I guess I can talk and do stuff at the same time. Well, we're only four minutes in. We'll just say we're waiting for people to get here. Now, if you want a super uh, gelatinized stock, you use chicken feet in there because that really absorbs all of it. And that has apparently has tons of nutrition in them. But I have not done that yet. Husband cannot get over the thought of me cooking with chicken feet. Even though they're clean, he's like, do you know where they've been? So it's, uh, but I want to eventually. Hey, Rosanna, welcome. Hey, Marsha, how are you? Just got done with your fourth canning project so far this year, burger time. Got to do stock, yeah. What did you just can, Cindy? This is probably, I've been canning some milk. I made rhubarb lemonade. stuff right here from rhubarb syrup um, which is just like steamed rhubarb in the juice you know and then lemon juice and sugar that's all it's in it it's so good 
So I've done that, and now I'm pressure canning. Lately, I've been um, water bathing, not water bathing, um, freeze drying my broth. So I haven't pressure canned any broth in a while, but my freeze dryer is busy, and I have broth I need to can. So. Oh, butterflies commenting on my, you know, Holly, I was thinking about blocking her because not only she doesn't just like come after me, she comes after the kids. You know, she always has something bad and negative to say about my children, you know? It's, it's Alfredo, it's not spicy. Do you have some water? it's spicy it's not spicy okay but yeah that butterfly girl yeah like i said she likes to come after the kids call the kids like filthy and stuff you know it's like oh low sodium thank you amanda that is a great point as well it also guarantees less waste look at you guys oh you're staying up to watch this thanks mom thanks she's not my real mom i'm just calling her by her tag pink pink, pink camel mom is that what that's supposed to be all right, and then I have my frozen scraps. There's carrot peels, there's peppers, cores in here. There's onion peels, green onions that were kind of, I just put them in here. Garlic peels. Here's a random thing of celery, because you know I ain't eating celery, so I'll throw it in the stock bag. Um, I do have some spicy jalapeno pepper tops in here too. I keep all the seeds and everything because I just strain that out. So, I'm probably going to use half this bag. About time for a new bag. And there we go. You know what? There's only a smidgen left. I'm just going to use all of it. And I'll start a new bag. <laughs> Alright, and it'll all cook down too. Now you can do this in your Instant Pot as well. A lot of people have been asking for Instant Pot recipes. This you would do the exact same thing. You just cook it in your Instant Pot and I pressure cook it for two hours and then that does the trick with it. Or you can do it in your crock pot overnight. I do it for a couple of nights, but really overnight would be fine. And then I'm gonna do probably a couple of teaspoons of peppercorns in there. And then it's super important that you have vinegar of some kind. Like you could probably put um, cowboy candy brine in here as well because that's got the vinegar in there. I've used that before. This is apple cider vinegar. I find that it works the best. And this is an organic one because it's got the mother growing. Looks kind of cool. It was up here and then I shook her around a bit. No, she's down there at the bottom. But that's really good apple cider vinegar if you have a mother growing. So I'm just gonna add probably like two tablespoons. That really helps absorb all those nutrients out of the broth. Let me get some bay leaves. All right, bay leaves. These ones are kind of broken up. I do like roughly two, you know, and it could be different each time. Like it depends on what scraps I have, what seasoning I'm gonna be getting from those, right? So it literally could taste different every time, but no matter what, it brings flavor to to the dish okay are you done okay thank you all right and then i'm just going to fill it up with feel it i'm going to fill it up with water and we're going to put it on low you can probably do it on high for a couple of days too if you want I just like to kind of like slow simmer it. I don't want it to hard boil too long, you know. Okay, honey. Okay, I'm just waiting for my water to fill up. Whoa, it's a little close there. Can I have some space, please? Jeez. I'm married. If you're getting here, make sure you thumbs this up for me, please. I like to, that's what I like to see. Alright, can you still see the crock pot? You can still see the crock pot. 
you know, if you guys do something different with your broth, let us know in the comments. I would love to hear other people's um, tricks or things that they do to spruce it up maybe or that they use. Really, it's amazing what you can learn from somebody else, you know, especially those who have been doing it for a long time. Oh, Sally, you made my burrito in a jar. It's so good. I'm glad you tried it. It looked like it worked. It turned out pretty well. So I just fill it right up to the rim where the lid rests. There you go. Some people could put salt in it. You can put salt in it if you want. I choose not to put salt in it. Um, but so this is going to sit for like two days. I forgot to go get my prop. But with the magic of YouTube special, it is done and I have some extra in the fridge. But I forgot it, so I'll be right back. <laughs> here and then four quarts here and this was from a Costco rotisserie chicken as well the one I got from Costco however long ago that was all right so I'm gonna heat this up let's come over here to the stove area it's my pressure canner I'm using a 16 quart pressure cooker it's presto I like it it's one that does not have a um, gauge on the top. Where's the top? It does not have a gauge, but I like this one. I feel like it gets hotter faster than my other Presto that has a gauge. So I like using this one. And I think once you learn how to pressure cook without a gauge, it's not really that intimidating. Like it's, it sounds like it is, but I actually prefer it without gauges because then you're like hovering, you know? So the first thing, always read your instructions. Let me see if I have my instructions. Always read them. Where are they? Well, I don't have my instructions. Do I have a ball canning booth though? I think I do. Sorry guys, I was not prepared. Where's my ball book? Hold on guys, hold on. Now this is my guide to preserving book. Um, I don't know if it'll have chicken stock in here. I'm pretty sure you pressure can chicken stock for 35 minutes, but I am going to double check. You always wanna double check, make sure you have the right time. Um, I guess one of you guys can double check that for me too. My, who's my, my, uh, my mod here, my moderator. But I know for sure that you fill this up with two quarts of water. So I have my jars over here just in hot water just kind of wrenching you always want to make sure you have clean jars I'm gonna do quarts so here's two quarts and that should be enough it also another indicator that you could use is if you can stick your finger in there the water should be up to your second knuckle that's another indicator you could use what I've been taught. All right. And I'm still like, this is only, I'm going into my third year canning. So it's not like, you know, I've been doing this my whole life. My mom didn't do this. My parents didn't. If my grandparents did, I wasn't around it. So I really have, um, you know, I'm learning as I go pretty much. I'm gonna use my big enameled stock pot that Miss Carrie got me. I'm pretty sure you're in the group, Carrie. Thank you again. This thing is amazing. All right, All right so I'm just gonna kind of set my lid on there. I'm not going to lock it. If this was the freeze dryer, I would peel this fat off the top. 
But since we're canning it, I'm going to keep it because that's a lot of flavor in there and it'll, um, it'll distribute amongst all of the, all the jars. Go. All right, I'm gonna get this heating up. Did everybody have a good 4th of July? We did. All right, and then I'm also gonna get my canner heating up. Don't catch me on fire. Okay. All right. I know, Gideon, I was making up my own words to it. <laughs> Gideon's like, those are not the right words. All right, so that's what I got going on here. Stop and uh, read some comments. We used to buy side of piece, side of beef. I used to not get the bones until now. We ask for them. Um, I'm thinking about asking for bones too, like going to um, a shop and specifically asking for bones. You know. I know it's weird sounding that people eat chicken feet. I know, Amanda. <laughs> oh, Rachel, you made it! Hey, girl. <laughs> Yes, I can make chicken soup easily. My stock made a thyme and flavor my rice. Yes, it does flavor your rice. I cook pasta with it. Um, mashed potatoes, like steam your mash, boil your mashed potatoes in it and then use that to mix it in. It adds good moisture, you know. I love it as well. And I never used to cook like that, so it's great. Oh, you just put up 11th gallon of squash. Jeez, hey, Tasha. So happy to catch a live and blocker and never speak on someone's kids. I know. Like, you can dog on me, but, you know, I'll call my kids that. So, I, um, I'll i check it out when I'm off here. I didn't. I've been busy. I haven't seen her comment lately. Sometimes she comments, and then she, like, deletes. It's like, hmm. And she always has to find something negative to come out. Like, she used to be nice, but I don't think she's a fan of me anymore. Hey, Tuli, is that you? Hello, welcome. Hey, Barbara, welcome. Did you make the kids chicken alfredo for dinner? Sounds good if that's what you did. That is what I did. I just had a jar of alfredo sauce and then um, fettuccine noodles, chicken, and I had some canned carrots I threw in there. Hey, Tiffany, welcome. Yes, you can call me Pink. All right, Pink, thank you. Let the block hammer rain down. <laughs> hey, uh, Jody, you made it. Kids off limits blocker, Carolina. You can just not comment about kids negatively. I say we all just ignore her. It's the attention she wants, star above it, and she will go elsewhere. That's exactly it, Paula. You know, and sometimes to some of the comments, I will rebuttal. Um, but other ones, you can tell the person's just trying to troll you, you know, be like, nah, I'm good. I'm starting my freezer back for veggie stock. Good job, Pink. Aren't kids supposed to be dirty? <laughs> Literally the second after the four-year-old emerges from the bath, she's outside rolling down the hill in her PJs. Yeah, I believe that. Hey, Jupiter, welcome. I have had extra zucchini that was given to me. What should I do with it? It's a huge zucchini. I don't need a dehydrator or freeze dryer. Um, you can shred it and add it to lots of ground beef that you cook. That's a good tip for zucchini and then if you just shred it and keep it in the freezer then you can like add it to stuff as you cook or you can make zucchini bread at any time i would portion it into like two cup portions because that's usually the recipe calls for two cups if that makes sense everything you make looks awesome oh thank you sometimes i have flops but it's getting to the point you know where you know flavor profiles enough where you can um whip something up and it usually tastes pretty good you know Oh, thank you, Tasha. She clearly has no kids because kids are not clean. I know. And I think it was it was I think it was the one where we were shopping at Albertson's and Betty Jean had you know, it was bath day, so she had a little bit of greasy hair and her hair was just kind of thrown up or it was tangled, always tangled, you know. So I know it's not a pretty little girl look, but I'm not a pretty woman look either, you know? Like, that's literally what I do is throw my hair up when it does, needs to get brushed, you know? So I get it. I mean, I get the... But also, you know, don't force your opinion on what girls should look like onto my girl, you know? It's going to be some killer stock. I think so. Hey, Stacy, welcome back. <laughs> You're very creative. Why, well, thank you, Belinda. 
I always throw a few whole peppercorns in my broth. Oh good, me too. I do my broth two ways. One is just like what you do with the bones and veggies. The other kind I make is the pure bone broth that is straight up bone broth and nothing else. Oh, interesting, Susie. I'm watching to see what you do with your broth so far. You're on par with mine. How long do you let yours go for, Carolina? Tammy, I usually let it go for two days, honestly. So I would strain it, not tomorrow night, but the next day. So either in that morning. So I'll probably let it go tonight all day tomorrow and I'll probably strain it the next morning and then deal with it that day. You don't add any seasoning until the stock. Yeah, I don't add it, oh, into the stock. Okay, I don't add any salt until I see what I'm using it for, you know, which is funny because I add shot salt into everything else. <laughs> Putting my ball canning books are right in front of my face right now. I'm getting ready to make some stewed tomatoes. Mmm. Oh, well, thank you everybody for sending prayers to Les. I always roast my bones first. It makes all the difference. Roast until deep, going and brown, then add to pot. Tammy, um, I've never roasted my chicken bones before unless I've cooked them. You know, I cooked them roasted. But I have, uh, I do roast beef bones. And a job I used to work at would put tomato paste on them and then roast them. Have you heard of that? I bet that adds like a roasted tomato flavor to it, you know, because you usually add tomato paste, I think, to beef broth, so. Your presto takes three quarts, okay. I know mine takes two, I've been using her enough, but that's good to know, that's something different. Thank you for getting approved for this few scooter. I hope you get approved for that scooter too. Is my presto electric? No, it's, a, it's not. It would be nice to have an electric canner though, that's on my wish list. Hey Sherry, how are you? Oh, hey Pam. I'm sure the Ozarks are very beautiful right now. Carolina, that coffee looks so good. I've been up for four days straight and I'm so tired. I'm on uh, Prasanna and antibiotics and I can't drink coffee. So it looks so good. I'm so sorry. Here, I'll take a sip for you. I cherish the flavor. Did you see that? It's good. Oh, this is awful. You don't want any of this. It's awful. I'm just going to have to drink all of it. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, what's up, everybody else eating or making? Sorry, your daughter called. Well, tell her you're busy. Ooh, Jamie made steak tacos for dinner. See, I don't have anything to do now. I'm just kind of waiting. That's one thing about canning is, like, you kind of... Like the, you do a video on it. Ooh, I need to stand over here. Where's my bucket? I put my fan up on my bucket. Hold on, guys. I got distracted. We can't have an upset fire. Can I see that? Can I watch? Like this is from the exact same thing I did, except I did this in my Instant Pot. And this is all Costco chicken. So you can make it. So you get, go to Costco, you get a $5 rotisserie chicken. And they're huge, way bigger than that Walmart's $7 was, dollar one was. Make a big. Um, so get more chicken out of it for $5, and then you take the bones and you make a broth. And this is a lot of broth I'm getting from this, you know. Hey, guys, you're getting a little loud. Thank you. So, I mean, it's pretty pretty resourceful and pretty budget-friendly, if, if you ask me. All right, I got stainless steel. Oh, guys, have you heard that I won an ice cream maker machine? That's right two quarts with a compressor. I won it from the inquisitive farm wife. Her name is Angela and she was running a dairy month collaboration and you had to comment on all the videos to enter because it was a random comment from a random video in the collaboration to win. So I stalked that collaboration, <laughs> made sure I commented on every single video because I wanted to win an ice cream maker and by golly I won. Holy cow the kids and I were in the van I was driving, I had Betty Jan holding the phone. I'm like, I don't have to watch the live, I just need to listen. If they say Mama Baird, then you know we won. And it was a two hour live and I watched that whole entire thing till the very end. 
and then they did the, the raffle for the ice cream maker, and they said, Mama Bear did all of us, the three kids and me in the car, were just like, ah! <laughs> we were so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to all the ice cream. I think the very first one I'm going to do is like a mint chocolate chip. Also, I picked three ripe raspberries off of our raspberries today. Our first ripe ones ever. Betty Jan got one I ate too. Oh, they were so bad. So now we're going to have tons of raspberries. We can make raspberry ice cream and then I can freeze dry the ice cream. Oh, I haven't freeze dried ice cream yet, but... But, all right, let me get my coffee. Another thing, you want to keep your area sanitized. Don't be drinking around your, your area. Oh, here's the chicken Alfredo I made. Some of it. It's just, I mean, it's okay. You know, it's just jar sauce for a tissue. Oh, sorry. Let me turn my doohickey off, my sound. You all don't want to hear that I'm popular, you know. And uh, so it's got the rotisserie chicken and then some of my home canned carrots. Pretty good. And apparently it's spicy, which is not. And the carrots cut down the spiciness anyway. Seven year olds. Hello, Charlotte. Welcome. But it probably sounds like she's more of an old, nasty bat. Yeah, she's like, girls like to look pretty. They like their hair done. They like to dress nice and have their nails done treat her teach her mama is what she said to me i'm like do you see any of that in me how can i teach that to my daughter <laughs> you know it's like i'm hoping she doesn't get into any of that okay let's get so now we're scooping the broth is heated back up so we're doing the hot pack method so it's well it's supposed to be hot jars they kind of go down but that's okay so it's hot jars hot broth hot water on your canner. Oh, that's going to take forever. Uh, I don't know. I don't like using a a um, measuring cup because I feel like it spills everywhere. Look at that color though, guys. Holy moly. Like imagine the rice cooked in this, you know? All right, if you guys could make ice cream, what's the first flavor you would make? I already got my Pinterest all lined up. I got chocolate, mint chocolate chips, my favorite, butter pecan. So many good flavors. Cookie dough. Oh, we're gonna have to make like a funfetti one for the kids with sprinkles and stuff in there. And they don't need to make a classic vanilla for husband. All right, so I'm going up to one inch, which is the the rim right here. My canner fits seven quarts, so that's why I have seven quarts prepped. It may not be enough for all seven, but I wanted to prep them just in case, because you don't want to stop in the middle of a project to grab more jars if you can't help it. Like always grab way more than you think you're going to need. So that way you don't have to stop in the middle of it. Because sometimes you think you'll have enough and then be like, oh man, there's still more in here. And then you gotta stop, wash more. You don't wanna be stuck like that. Don't put that kind of pressure on you, laddie. Oh, lassie. This washer's done. Ooh, that can't pass. Are there any kids watching? Give me some kid names. I can give some shout outs. I know kids always love it when they hear their name. Okay. It looks like that's all that's going to fit. I probably could do a quart jar. I mean a, um, not quart. A pint. You guys just talk to yourself while you, while you why you do projects in the kitchen. I know I do. I'm just constantly talking to myself. Like, no one's even listening to me but me, you know? Okay. 
So it looks like it got me four quarts and a smidgen. Not too bad. Now we're going to get light distilled vinegar. I usually just put my towel on it and put it on top. Some tell you not to do that though because you can contaminate your vinegar. So they say put it in a dish and then dunk it in there. So that is an option as well. And then you're going to wipe the rims to make sure that no grease gets on there. Every time you wipe, rotate your towel, get a new spot, wipe some more. This is a good time to be feeling the lips to make sure that they're not broken, chipped, cracked, anything like that. If you don't, if you skip this part, more than likely your jars will not hold a seal. They might seal right at first, but they will pop their seal eventually. Oh, I don't gotta do that one. They will pop their seal eventually because the fat gets up under there and the grease causes it to lose its seal. Now, let's talk lids. Get up here, I gotta talk to you. Oh, make it all crooked. Okay. Hi. Okay, lids. Um, there's brand new lids that you buy. A lot of people suggest that you use a new lid every single time, whether you're pressure canning, water bathing, no matter what, new lid. I say that adds up, so I will reuse my lids. Now, I am picky about the lids that I reuse. For instance, this is one that has had chicken stock in it before. So, chicken stock, here's a brand new lid. I don't see a difference, do you? So I reuse them and I have had tremendous luck in reusing them, but it is not recommended. That's one of those things where it's your kitchen, your rules, you know, you do what you feel is best as long as you understand the risks. Now, for example, this one, this one's reused. I didn't mark on it, but you can tell here, you see how it's got rust up here. It's got like, it's got, um, I don't know, like it ate it or something. So this would not qualify as a reuse, reusable lid for canning. I honestly wouldn't even reuse this for any dry goods. I'm just gonna toss this because that rust makes me very weary. So I am picky about what lids I do reuse. I do go through them, but that is what I do. If you're not comfortable with that, then get a fresh lid every time. That is what's recommended. Ugh. And make sure you don't drop them on the ground. Yeah, Back down here. Please keep your questions till the end of the lesson. I'm just kidding. You guys give us questions. All right, so we put the lid on there, and then we have our canning ring. You're going to twist it. Fingertip tight. You don't want to, like, bring out your inner thorn and crush the thing, but you want to twist it until you can no longer twist it. over here to our canner. Don't mind my mess of a house, you know. So our water is boiling down there. Gonna put our jars in there. Yeah. So it's not like water bathing where you want the water to completely cover the jars. That's not what pressure canning is. You just need a little bit of water in there to help build up the pressure. All right, so since there's only four, I'm gonna kind of space them out here. I would put one in the middle. Now, even though this is not a full canner load, I'm still gonna pressure can this. You don't have to have 45 jars at one time to be achievable. You can do four quarts of chicken stock if that's what you got, you know? Um, every little bit counts. And I could have even put some of that in a pint and then I would have had four quarts in a pint. So on the pressure canner lid here, there's arrows. Yeah. And then on one handle here, arrows. So you line those up, put a twist. Guys, I never get the lid on that fast. I always gotta be, I mean, <clears throat> just like that, usually you put it on, no worries about that at all. Now we are going to let this, it's on high. 
we're gonna let it boil. We're gonna wait for steam to come out of this valve and that's called venting. We are going to let it vent for 10 minutes and then we'll go from there. Ah, that's my already pre-made chicken stock. Okay, so that's what we're waiting for. I think I'm caught up. I'm gonna go get a chair and I'll sit down with you guys. Yeah, I got one of my notes. I got some notes I printed. And my coffee. Sorry, looking for my coffee. Damn, my coffee. Okay. Let's come down here. I have the fan blowing on me, so if you guys feel hear it and it's distracting, just let me know. Okay. How far behind am I on comments? Oh, 20 minutes. Jeez, I might keep scrolling all the way down. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the end, guys, and then go upwards. If you had a comment that you want me to read, I'm sorry I did not have a chance to read it. Rewrite it so I can see it now because I'm starting from the bottom. Uh, I'm very afraid of pressure cookers, so I don't want to use one if I can help it. Okay, um, what's in the crock pot? It's more chicken stock. I did a rotisserie chicken the bones from it, added my scraps from my freezer, and then I have um, apple cider vinegar, bay leaves, and peppercorns in there. Your daughter is beautiful. She's a kid. That lady needs to pick on kids. Wow, I know. Can you believe that? And to shame me for not dressing her up or washing her often enough for her, you know. I do need to block her. Where is she at? Husband was here. I'd send him at it, but he's not here yet. Always late, that man. All right. My house did not stay clean until I was an empty nester. Good. Have you tried sub lids yet, Caroline? I have not less. I have um, four jars. All right, now a little steam's coming out, but it's not like, that's what we're waiting for. You know, we want like Titanic steam rolling out of there. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I printed some notes because, um, one of the biggest worries, let me back up I'm a little too close, get all up in my pores. One of the biggest, oh hey Angela, one of the biggest worries, oh you reported her Katie thinks. <laughs> Your mod can do it right. Um, I don't know if she can or not, if they can block subs. Um, it's kind of a lot of power, you know. I would like, I would have you do a shout out to my son, he's currently asleep in my lab with the cutters before he goes to sleep. Tell me Sammy, what's his name? Let your kids be kids, they are only one youngs. I feel that going to be parents for dinner never know when it will be the last one with them not being morbid or anything just want to enjoy them while I have them with me of course Holly go we'll talk to you later Belinda you bought me a coffee cheers thank you that's so nice of you you know I enjoy my my coffee we can all report her I'm just masking it all my stands after her <laughs> My strengths are making my girls super girly. Instead, I teach them how to cook and do yard work and how to save money when we can. Yes. And, like, they're out there helping husband mow the lawn, um, work on the truck, work on stuff. You know, when he had the dryer out, all three of them, what are you doing? Just glued to him, you know. And he's like, ah, these kids are following me. I can't work around all these kids. I'm like, hmm, is it frustrating having three kids under your feet while you're trying to get something done? Man, what a shame, husband. What's that? Time for me to go. Have fun. <laughs> like, don't even think I feel about it. <laughs> My granddaughter refused to do cheerleading because she had to wear bows in her hair. Go, Robin. I would be the same way. Like, I worry about that with, like, makeup. Like, if I would have to do something, like, force you to wear makeup. It's like, I don't want to wear makeup, you know? I never have heard of Suburb Lids before. I ordered the 4th of July special from Four Jars. Good job, Sally. Uh, hey Patty. Oh yeah, I didn't get to my notes. I got distracted. Hey Mama from Manitoba, Canada. Did I say that right? The lady picking on your daughter must have must not have a life. Just be just keeping you. Thank you. She's picking on a six and seven year old. You know, Eddie. Oh hello, Eddie. He's four. How are you, buddy? Are you getting sleepy? You getting sleepy? You saying? Don't drink any coffee though. You go. You get some rest. That's so good. I love giving the shout outs to the kids. Eddie. Eddie is a great name. 
Birthday dinner tomorrow is, oh, it's tomorrow night. Okay, tomorrow, okay, tonight I'm all yours. Oh, good, Holly, thank you. I didn't really want you to go, but I'd understand if you had to go, you know. Aren't butterflies supposed to be sweet and nice? Stacy, you're so funny. Stacy, are you on two different, are you on two different accounts right now? <laughs> thank you, Patty, because you were on your other one, now you're on this one. I mean, I'm not complaining. Okay, now can you see this venting? You see that air coming out? That's what we're talking about. So it's a pretty steady steam. So we're gonna let this vent for 10 minutes. You do this every single time, no matter what you're pressure canning, for how long you let it vent for 10 minutes. That's one of the things that were on my notes. People worry, oh, good night, Kathleen. Thanks for hanging out with us. Oh, darn, I wanted to get my two cents in before she was blocked. I don't know, Tammy, sometimes she deletes her messages. Like, I don't delete them, and then I'll go back to look for them, and they'll be deleted. So I'm like, do you delete your own messages? Because I asked husband. I'm like, husband, did you delete that? Because he should be, he can get in on my, uh, dang it, hold on, let me fix my phone. He can get in on my, on my YouTube. He sees all the comments and everything. How's a girl supposed to get a man friend when I got my husband all up in my socials? You know what I'm saying? Rude. But, uh... I asked him if he did it, and he said no. So I was like, oh, okay. Oh, you are. Okay, Stacy. Uh, okay, so on my notes, it talks about when pressure cookers or canners explode. So a lot of people, um, that's their biggest fear, is they're worried about getting hurt, that they're going to explode. Um, I actually have one person, Lily, on my Facebook group just commenting on my um, video that I'm doing right now saying that, she had it happen to her, so she's petrified of canners and won't go near them again. So it happens. And um, I was reading this thing and it says it actually happens more than you would think. So I wanna give you a couple of the safety tips that are that I found that will help you, or kinda like keep you from having your canner explode pretty much. And once you put on your weight, don't start your clock until the jiggler starts to rock. That's good, Les. <laughs> Wait for a long walk, so hard here. Chicken's been laying a lot of eggs down here. Haven't heard the rooster tonight. Yeah, I got my windows closed. I think they're out. They like to hang out on the porch. So mostly in the morning is when you'll hear them all. She made more than one comment, Nanny Tam. Go get her. What happened to the canner? It's, what do you mean, it's still going? You have an interesting group of coffee mugs. You're sweating away and cooking, and I'm concentrating on your cups. This one's from my mom, the Halloween one. My one I got from Goodwill, the pink one with the flowers on it, it broke. The, mm -hmm. the handle broke right as I picked it up, but I didn't spill any coffee, so that was what mattered. Okay, so it says the frequent defects in pressure cookers. Number one, inadequate lid seals. So an inadequate lid seal can result in spilling an explosion of cooker context, contents. Number two, faulty gaskets that allow premature opening. <laughs> a faulty gasket that allows the premature opening of a pot during high pressure can cause steam and contact burns. So I've had to change a gasket before where the pin wasn't rising up and it just wasn't coming to pressure and I could see steam coming out of the side of it. That made me realize that I needed to change my gasket. <coughs> I'm going to be reading and coughing now. And then number three, inadequate venting. Inadequate venting can cause a pressure cooker to explode. So that's what I'm doing right now is venting. So you have to pressure cook or you have to vent for 10 minutes. If not, you can have your pressure cooker could explode. Um, tips for safely using pressure cookers. Number one, inspect the pressure cooker before cooking. The rubber gasket between the pot and the lid is crucial or is critical to the proper functioning of a pressure cooker. Before cooking, ensure the gasket is clean and is not cracked or dried out. Some manufacturers suggest replacing the rubber gasket once a year, depending on how frequently you use your pressure cooker. And they're really easy to find. All parts to pressure cooker, like I've lost the little button before, you can order them on Amazon. So most pressure cookers have parts where if you're missing one, you can, you can order it. All right, number two safety tip. Number two, the second safety tip, do not overfill the pressure cooker. Pressure cooker should never be over two thirds full. I think this is more of like a cooker than a canner, but I'm just gonna read all of them for um, purposes. This is to prevent food from blocking the vents in the lid of the cooker. For foods that swell or froth, beans, rice, or pasta, only fill the cooker halfway. 
So this could be used for your Instapot as well, because that technically is a pressure cooker. Okay, um, number three, use enough liquid. Pressure cookers are designed to cook food by using steam under extreme pressure. Steam cannot be created without some form of liquid. At least half a cup of liquid is needed to create enough steam to properly use the cooker. So in Instapots, they require, um, hold on a second. Oh, okay, the steam was coming out the other one. Um, Instapot require at least a cup of liquid water. Okay, um, number four, be mindful of the type of food being cooked. Froth produced during the cooking process by certain foods, pastas, split peas, oatmeal, applesauce, and cranberries can block the steam valves and vents of the cooker. Before cooking these foods in the pressure cooker, ensure your recipe calls for the same size cooker as yours and do not overfill the cooker. All right, and then number five, release pressure in a safe way. Pressure can be released three ways. One, natural release by removing the cooker from the heat and allowing it to sit until the pressure reduces. Cold water releases by running cold water over the lid of the closed cooker or quick release by using the steam release valve to expel steam. That was number two. And always be sure to protect your face, hands, and body when releasing pressure. And remember the steam may still escape when opening the pressure cooker, even if you believe the pressure has been released. So that's whenever you're opening it up you're going to open the lid this way with it up so that way it's blocking your face so any steam that comes out goes that way and the lid keeps it from hitting you in the face because i know facials are fun but not that kind of fun let me tell you it's just too hot and then it'll burn you steam burns are not fun and then number six clean the cooker properly when you finish using your pressure cooker remove the gasket i don't remove the gasket but remove the gasket clean it separately from other parts of the cooker clean out the release valve with a toothpick. I do always check, well, I didn't this time, but I usually check the release valve to make sure it's clear, but it's venting, so it's clearing. Um, and then to reduce the necessary wear on the gasket, store your cooker with the lid upside down on the pot rather than locked in place. So there's just a couple of tips. Oh, I also wrote back here um, some websites that you can check out just to get more information about canning. If you're intimidating by pressure canning, then do some research on it, you know, start filling your brain up with it. So you can go to the National Center for Home Food Preservation. You could do the USDA Canning Guidelines Handbook. Ball Book Guide to Preserving is also a good source. And then your pressure canner, canner manual or instruction guide as well. So that's what I got. I thought I'd just look up, you know, how common is it that pressure cookers explode? And because is it a realistic fear that people have? Or is it just like one of those... You know that rarely happens, right? So I thought I'd look it up and what do you know? It does happen pretty rarely and a lot of it's due to faulty equipment. Like pressure cookers and canners help a lot, but if they're made incorrectly, they can do a lot of damage. So I hope that helps anybody who's apprehensive about canning. I mean, that might have made it worse for you. I don't know. <laughs> um, my hubs asked for a pic the other day. I handed in my phone like, you look for it. We were friends. They were we were with friends and they were like you gave him your phone duh nothing to hide that's how i do too we always change phones sometimes i do his phone for our live you know sometimes he's using my phone to take a picture or something same thing you know and i'm just nothing to hide. just look we know each other's passwords you know oh hey tanya from north carolina come on eyes up take your shirt off spin it around your head look a helicopter no no okay uh that happened to my mom when she was burned, but it did not stop her. She got back in the kitchen and faced her feelings. That's awesome, Susie. I feel like I would do the same thing. Judy, I bought mine used off of Facebook Marketplace for $10. It was still in the box, brand new. I burned the heck out of myself pressure canning a couple of months ago, but it was because I wasn't paying attention, not the canner's fault. I feel that, Aunt Rowdy. Maybe she got reported on both comments. So if you report her on the comments, does the comments get deleted? Maybe that's what happened, and other people reported her, because I didn't, so I guess if other people report her enough, I don't know. Who we after? <laughs> Jupiter, so funny. Uh, I can't find her. I was pumped up, as my son says. I have found that if you are nervous about the pressure canner, use an electric pressure canner. It works great, and it will not allow you to open it. That's true, Angela. Pressure canners, um, electric ones, and they're only like, what, 250 or something like that? Mama Baird's earlier food bank videos where Butterfly was, she said something or another. She was rude twice on the comments. Hmm. 
And sometimes she's rude to other people. Like, I remember Valerie wrote, like, a long comment one time on one of mine. And she didn't comment on my video, on that video. Like, she didn't leave a comment. But she, re she replied to Valerie's comment and said, um, man, write a book, why don't you? It's like, why? <laughs> why? Let her write as much as she wants on my video. Who are you? Yeah, I should have known right then and there, you know. I'll go see if the, her other comment is there. I commented on the one already. What'd they say, Les? I don't even know what she say. What'd she say? <sighs> oh, good night, Paula. I want you to all notice that she has backed away from the camera. My mom taught me to do that and only go up to it if you're going to do something to it. That's a good idea, Susie. And I'm still, like, it's just right there, you know, so it's two arm lengths away. So it probably would be wiser to be even further. All right, so it's beeping. It's been venting for 10 minutes. Now we're going to put the weight. The weight depends on your elevation. Um, I couldn't tell you exactly which one is which. You have to look it up. What your elevation is, you got to look it up. Mine takes all 15 pounds of pressure. So this, this gauge, I think this is a gauge, yeah, has three weights on it. So if you need to take one off, you just push it down. So now it has 10 pounds of pressure. Put it back on. Now it has 15 left it in the center of my stove so it's a little hot and now to put your lid on or to put it on a lot of people are intimidated because it's hot steam coming out right but you really just just rock it on just and it goes straight on now we're going to pressure cook this for 35 minutes but we don't set the timer like les said you don't start a clock until it starts to rock <laughs> something like that so the jiggler is going to rock that's when we're going to set our timer and we're going to turn our stove down at that point Okay, back over here and I'll show you when it starts to jiggling. Hold on one second, I got a kid. Okay, I'm almost. Okay, we're stopping. Why don't you go to the kids? And those are like, well, I'm doing that to go get a meal. Okay, fix some minutes, okay? Why don't you bring it to me? I'll eat it. I'll let you go free, you don't want it. Okay. okay. Yeah. What were those things that are the red? Those were carrots. Carrots? Yeah. I liked them. Oh, you liked those? Okay, she liked the carrots. What is the shelf life of your chicken stock? Um, I've had it for up to two years, but honestly, mine didn't last that long. I cook with, I probably go through pineapple. two quarts of stock a week minimum. Yeah, you can eat pineapple. That's good. You need a fork. I, I, mine. Pineapple used to put my lips in my soy house, but now it's good. It's good? Yeah, we'll just have a couple of my silver a little bit. Okay. Okay, yes, hi. Hi. Hello. I'm back to yours. Back to being yours. Oh, T, you made it. Hello. Can I make chicken stock in my slow cooker? That's literally what I got right now, T. I put it in my slow cooker. I'm going to cook it for all of tonight all of tomorrow, all of that night, and then I'm going to strain it the next day, and that's when it'll be ready. I love the ball book. There's so many different ball books, too. When you get your ice cream maker, will you show us how to do it? I made banana ice cream, Rocky Road, and pistachio. All my faves love me some ice cream. You know I'm going to be showing you all the ice cream I'm making. People will going to be like, oh, great, now she's eating ice cream. <laughs> It's good you mentioned the proper way to open the cooker. I've seen so many people burn themselves by not opening it away from themselves. Yes, you learn that um, in the kitchen industry, being around hot pots and steams and stuff. And the oven, you open it, you always like turn your face away when you open it. It was <laughs> melt your mascara to your eyes. You know, you can't even open your eyes. When I worked overtime to make a quick meal, I would throw it in the pressure cooker. It came out very delicious, very nice. Oh, I did not know that, Katie. That's good. Because I can all meet at the same meat times, not specifically um, beef. You're too funny tonight, Mama Baird. I'm not tired. That makes me extra funny for some reason. <laughs> oh, thank you, Patty. I need to heat up some more. I'm just having leftover from earlier. Love you. I felt like I was getting a migraine because I get, like, this squiggle in, in my eyesight that, like, blocks... That like blocks part of my vision like it's hard for me to read and it's like that for about 10 minutes and then it goes away and then sure enough 20 minutes later I have a huge migraine like I can't drive excuse me I'm 
like puking at some point to get so bad. So I haven't had that squiggly line in a while. I used to think those were stress migraines because I got them a lot at work. Um, Gideon, give that back, please. Gideon, we don't play with food, buddy. Give it back. Thank you. Okay. Um, what was I saying? I lost it. What were we talking about? I don't know. She's in rare form. I was pretty rare on my last Friday Night Live, too. I hope you guys are okay with the canning one. Like, is this okay? I know we're not really cooking something, but something a little different. And, um, you know, I know I had a lot of questions about it, so I thought I'd do this. I received bone broth from the food bank and had tried it for the first time. And did you like it, Teresa? I need to go, but it was good to see everyone. Have a blessed weekend, everyone. Thank you for being here, Sally. It's always nice to talk to you. The funniest thing is I will use my All-American with respect, but I was afraid of my Instant Pot. That's so funny. See, and I started with the Instant Pot before I started pressure canning, I believe. Oh, Angela, your electric canner was only $100? Because, like, with this one, I'm only doing four quarts. Like, I think an electric canner would fit four quarts, so then I wouldn't have to break out my canner. Sit here and babysit it, you know? I could just throw it in the electric canner and be done with it. That would be nice. Block the mean person. All right. You guys don't want to go get her for me? Apparently, she's gone already. All right, we're starting to rock. See that? All right, so that's when we're going to start our timer. I'm doing 35 because it's quartz. And I'm also going to drop my heat. It was at a high. I'm going to drop it down to a six because you don't. Now, this is a gas stove. I don't have any advice for a glass stove on how you pressure can on that. It can be done, but I don't do it, so don't ask me. Um, but with the gas stove, you kind of got to turn down the heat because you don't want it to pss, 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 the whole entire time. You want it to kind of like chill and then rock, chill, and then rock, you know. So I like to sit here and watch them sometimes, you know. Do you have big plans for the weekend? I do not. I was trying to get out with husband. Oh, I have an electric scooter, guys, that I'm reviewing. It's a lot of fun. I've already been going up and down the driveway with it. So I was hoping to take him with me and um, we could get some footage of the electric scooter. And I want to film that Q&A of him and I just to have, um, I have a post on it. If you guys want to ask me and husband or husband any questions, um, put them on that community post because that's where I'm going to be going to look for what questions we're going to answer. Um, I don't think it's going to be a live. I think we're just going to, I'll have a list of questions and then we'll answer it while we're doing something. Um, so that way, if something happens, you know, whatever. So I think we're going to do... We're going to do that. I'm going to try and get that done. Um, but other than that, I don't really have any plans. The kids want to go to the park. What? Okay. Oh. Gideon slap happy. Caffeine has you wide eyed giving recipes in a show. Keep it up. Well, good. I'm glad it's uh, waking me up here. I need a little more there. Okay, so now you see how it's kind of calmed down? And it's just kind of going, and then it spits out some steam. It releases some of the pressure, and then it keeps rocking. So that's kind of where I have it. I watch it, make sure that it doesn't stop rocking, because you don't want it to fall out of that 15 pounds of pressure zone. Um, and that's what that rocking means. It's at the 15 pounds. So, yeah, so I just kind of watch it, and I adjust my heat here and there as I go. Make sure you're giving this video a thumbs up if you're just getting here. She's just a troll. I'm sure she is, Sammy. It's just different when she starts coming after my kids, you know? It's different if you're trolling me. I can take it, but start making fun of my little girl, you know? It's game on. I'm me and the chickens. We coming after you, butterfly. I got chick. My chickens eat butterflies for breakfast. Yeah. Are you and hubby having the same dinner as the kids? Yeah, I told Betty Jan to bring me her bowl. I guess I can eat. I put some out for him. It's cold now, but that's okay. But yeah, this is not spicy at all. Oh, 
She said, I used to really like watching her until she showed her true colors. Oh, nice, Les. She said, <laughs> Les is like, the only person showing their true colors is you. Like, what's my true colors? What am I doing? That's, that's, that's my true color. <laughs> What I do so wrong on that video, you know? I used to have an ice cream maker, and then the base had to be cut off my son's head in the ER when he was two. Oh no, Katie. What a story to tell. Yep, my children are definitely awake. I learn so much from you every time I watch your videos. You're so wise and inspiring. Oh, thank you, Patty. I'm glad I can do that for you guys, you know, like I just try and be the person that I would want in my life, you know. Sarah dares me to say pressure cooker ten times in a row. Mm. Aurora my um Aurora migraines, my mom should get those. Oh. I don't know what caused it, you know, I've asked the eye people about it. And they said it's more of a, a head thing than an eye thing, you know, like a migraine thing. When that happens, you need to take your blood sugar and see if it's spiking. Important. Oh, I did not know that, Susie. Um, I don't have a blood pressure machine. But I took, I took some um, Cedrin migraine as soon as I felt, as soon as I saw that squiggle line, like it, you know, like how you look into a light and then you get that squiggle? That's kind of what it is, but it just, it completely blocks my vision and um, it's for like 10 minutes straight, it seems. It's really long. Me and my big bites. How old are my twins? They are turning six in like two weeks. <laughs> Twin boys. Oh, they get so big. And then my daughter just turned seven. This is fun. I love canning. Okay, good. Is the is the pressure cooker loud? Like, is the thing loud? I was talking about your headaches in your eyes. Okay. I got that. That Rowdy likes it because they have more time to chat. That's true. I'm not as busy. The electric canner does four quarts or five pints. That's really nice. Hi, Linda. How's Missouri treating you? Probably hot and sticky. And we begin to rock. Rock steady. Rocking all night long. <laughs> Presto is eight pints or five quarts selected that is. Okay, thank you, Carrie. I use my Instant Pot all the time. It's a pressure cooker and it's cans. Okay. I love my pressure. I love my Instant Pot too. Sometimes I make my bone broth in it instead of my slow cooker. Depends like if I'm making them in the morning or if I'm making it, if I'm throwing it at night. Like now I wouldn't want to put it in my pressure, my Instant Pot because it pressure cooks for two hours and then you got to let it cool down and release and then you got to strain it and then it's got to cool down and then you put it up. So it's too late for all that. Some of y'all moms get your energy and get your stuff done. Like, after your kids go to bed. Mm -mm. I, after that, I go to bed before my kids. <laughs> and then I get all my stuff done in the morning. I would like to see you and hubby more. Great idea. People are like, can you even tell us what his name is? Does he have a name? Are you ever going to tell us? It's so funny. Ooh, you found an electric Hoover board at the dump. Nice. Putting me back on the TV. Thanks, Stacy. I like to be on the big screen, you know. I'm worth it. <laughs> Does she have her chat on top chat? I might have that. Let's see. Can I change that? Now that you say that, yeah, live chat. Thank you for that. I forgot about that. 
Continue being yourself. Thank you, Robin. I got rid of migraine headaches, had them for years. Mine, I think, was a lot of stress. I see she's just behind in the chat. I am behind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Between eating and kids and da da da. I scrolled down to the bottom, though. Your videos are down to earth, like having a conversation with friends. Very comforting, funny, and educational. Easy to watch. Why, thank you, Tanja. I appreciate that. Oh. I would make sure there was no HOA, too. Jeez. The four year old took my phone, now watching you. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Is that Nolan who does that? Who did that? When you feel a migraine coming, drink water, two Tylenol, and a cold cloth on your forehead. Okay, thank you. Yo, twin boys, so do I. I do. They're crazy. Do you actually survive twins? How old are yours? It's pretty hot in Montana right now. Like, I don't know. It's probably 75 right now. Um, it was probably in the 80s today. Well, my wild home, welcome. So happy to see you. I feel the same way about both my kids. Started talking crap about my kids. It's game on. My son is unfortunate on the spectrum of autism, so he worries me for the future holds. It's so it's so bad worrying about your kids. Like, man, I wonder if they're going to make fun of him for that, you know? Even though you love them for who it is. Like, sometimes mine will do something and I'll be like, oh, I know other kids will pick at that, but you think it's sweet, you know? I know, no one should ever talk crap about <laughs> chickens eat butterflies for breakfast. <laughs> uh, Nolan, yeah, so everybody talks about, I don't know, like, when older people make fun of kids, too, you know? Like, that's just wrong. You, just, you gotta pick on that young kid. But you're right, they are just haters, so I've been waiting for her to comment so I can block her, because the last time she did it, I was like, I'm going to block this lady, and then I haven't seen a comment since. So you telling me she's got a comment, I'm like, hmm, but we'll see. Arr, I must investigate. <laughs> well, do you guys want to wait till the canner's done? This one's not backed up. I'm just chilling, drinking coffee, eating dinner. We've probably still got 20 minutes. 25 minutes left. Whenever that finishes, you're just going to turn the timer, your, your, um, canner off, your stove off. You're gonna, not going to move it. You're not going to touch it. You're going li to leave it be. The pin will drop. That's how you know that you can take the top off, the canner off. So it'll be 25 minutes till I turn it off. And then it'll probably be another 30 minutes till it's cooled down enough to release that pressure and then you just want to crack the top and let it come out and like let the steam come out but if you crack it and open it and pull those jars out even though you let it sit for a while then it's going to siphon and all your beautiful broth is going to out of it and it's going to come down onto your towel and stuff so it's it's exciting to get in there and see how your product is that you just canned but you got to let it sit lesson learned my brother and sister are twins my niece and nephew also two sets of boys twins but not identical wow okay you guys gonna wait all right my identical twins would just turned 26 so sweet and they're mirror image twins that's awesome i bet that's fun um ruby i did check i had my thyroid checked like six months ago and it was fine so i don't have anything up with my um my thyroid and i think my blood pressure was fine last time but i haven't had a doctor's visit for a while if i left oklahoma i'd live in montana we'd love it when we visit it's so beautiful it's so expensive though a lot of migraines are due to stress and dehydration yeah i probably should drink more water i just like to see how husband still makes you blush adorable oh does he I guess he's cute. Those of us who are around enough to know husband's name, yeah, sometimes if you watch my lives, I'll say it, you know. I have mentioned his name before. It's just funny. Oh, hey, Crystal. It's just funny hearing people who don't know his name and then I call the new, they're new, you know, and they're like, you call him husband? Does he not have a name? Like, his name's husband on his birth certificate. Says husband, you know, I don't know what I call him. <laughs> Oh, I love the sound of the juggler, do you? You're blessed and now just talking about your husband. Oh, I guess so. He is pretty cute, I guess. You know, I'm going to marry him someday. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
All right. I'm caught up in comments. I had to skip some though. So just repeat it if you need me to say something or if you want me to know something. My mother teach as if we didn't have nothing to say. Don't say nothing at all. I guess her mother didn't teach her that. I guess not, but you know, we call them keyboard, keyboard warriors around here. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, you should marry husband. He's a keeper. He's good to me. He works hard like right now. He got off work. What time is it? He got work off work at five o'clock. It is now seven forty five. And he's late because he's off work and on a side business trying to get it up and running and he's doing it by himself, you know. Or he's cheating. One or the other. <laughs> Either way, he comes home hungry. No. <laughs> I know that's not something to joke about. But... Mm. Jupiter twins are on my side. Like my dad's mom is a fraternal twin. But I hear that, whoop, my food, I hear that genes don't get passed down through your father's side to the women, so the twin genes. So even though his mom was a twin, that genetic doesn't get passed down to me because I'm a female, so I get my female genes from my mom, and there's not twins on her side. Do you like that ice maker? Does it still, does it make small nugget ice? It sure does. Purifying machine right next to it that gives it a purified water. Um, yeah, I'm an influencer. I need the purified water, please. I don't want none of that bottled stuff. Mm. It's really fresh though. Christmas mug. <laughs> We're doing we doing all the holidays up in her. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. That's good water. It does really make you drink more water. And then you crunch on the ice. Mm. It's really good. I'll have this link below if you're interested. I have a review video on it. I mean, I do got a review video on it. It's Dr. Prepared is the brand. <laughs> it's interesting, but I do love it. Watching Mama Baird and the town fireworks at the same time. Perfect. It's nice to have like a little water station set up. I don't know if I'd like it there because it's like in the middle of my kitchen. You know, I mean, it's not too bad. It's I just had clutter over in that corner anyway, but now we have our own little ice water station set up for the summer, and it's coming handy. It's pretty nice, and the kids are older. Yeah. Okay, have an apple. Did you eat all that pineapple? Yeah. Yeah. What about cheese sticks? There's apples over there. She said, do you eat that slice of pizza? Yeah. Well, you need some a piece of fruit then. Or you can have more pasta. You didn't finish your pasta. Is this color? No. Okay, my husband goes, my hubby goes by hubby or babe. <laughs> if it's used his name, usually means he's done something that pisses me off. I feel that less. Like, that's what I say with the husband, if I use his name, or it slips, and he'll be like, you just call me Trey? I'm like, yeah. What's wrong with you? I'm like, I don't know. No, you can have some water. Look, I just make up a nice cold ice water. You want it? You can keep it, though, because we had food in your mouth. I don't want that black backwash. Girl, you cracked me up. <laughs> What's the best advice? Oh, hey, Brittany, I don't know if I said hi to you yet. What's the best advice about getting a free jar? I want one so bad, but worried it'll be hard. I don't think it's hard. I love it. It's actually very easy and very convenient to just throw something in the freeze dryer real quick and then you let it go. 
Um, the hardest thing is probably when it's ready, it's ready and it's like, ah, you're gonna add more dry time on it just to give you a couple more hours to get stuff ready to get it portioned up. Because as soon as it comes out, you need to get that in the bag ready to go. Okay, excuse me. So I like it though. The hardest part for me was saving up for it. Like I saved up for two years and then my aunt ended up giving me hers. So I even after two years, I didn't have enough saved up. I was going to try and get a large though. Nope. Which I still wish um, I would have got. Sorry, I had to go mom mode. Mm. The look didn't work, so I had to get up. Oh. He would never cheat on you, love at first sight. I know he wouldn't. I would be um I would be completely flabbergasted if he cheated. I would not expect it. Like he he doesn't talk about other women, like not even like his celebrities. Like I have no idea what celebrity he finds attractive because he doesn't talk about any celebrity he finds attractive, which is nice, you know. And he's never made me feel like unwanted or unappealing, undesired, you know, so he's really a good guy. Can you give my husband a shout out? Doug, why hello Doug. He loves watching your videos with me. Happy to see you. Don't mind you. Don't like, you don't mind hanging out with us, girl. <laughs> I feel like there's guys here who watch though. It's not all women. The other day Vincent was watching. Identical twins aren't hereditary, but fraternal are, and they come through the female side. Okay, that's what I thought about with them. So, um, yeah, so I guess it was just us. My luck, my, my ovaries were overachieving that month, you know. These ice makers are great. I wonder if the daughter's going to blow out the birthday candles on his cake like he blew out hers. That would be funny. Revenge. She's probably been planning it since the moment he did it. I mean, but she got a, a song in regards to that, you know. Oh, I also have some people commenting about how naughty Gideon was. And they would have spanked him and put him in the corner. He's dropping the, the sprinkles on the cake on purpose. And then blowing out his sister's candles. I would have whooped him so much, they say. You know, I'm just like, dang, he's five. Can we give him a little break? Cause kids get excited on other kids' birthdays. It's hard, you know. Ooh, great with Diet Coke, that ice. Mm-hmm. My ex-husband cheated and I found your joke so funny that I literally lulled. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad it wasn't offensive. I was like, yeah, he's either working hard to make money or he's cheating. We'll find out eventually, I guess. Mm. I told him, I was like, husband, you cheating on me? So he's like, oh, yeah, I got time for that. I'm going to go heat up my coffee real quick, guys. I'll be right back. Remind me in a minute and a half to uh, go get my coffee. Oh my gosh, she's drinking ice water from a fancy ice maker. <laughs> Fane drinks ice water from my own fancy ice maker. I know, and you know what? I still go to the food bank and I have a fancy ice machine. I should just feed my kids ice if I want to. If I want to feed them something instead of utilizing that their food bank, you know. <laughs> I wish they would stop with the fireworks. I'm surprised they have fireworks going off right now, too. Usually after the 4th, like that. Especially if it's in the middle of the week, you know. Oh, a filter on your faucet. That's a good idea. It is like Sonic Ice Jupiter. Okay, excitement stream. I have a countertop ice maker, but it makes bullet ice. And it's okay, but my true love is ice nugget ice. This is, it is so nice, too. People are like, you want to review our ice machine? I'm like, um, Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know about the girls getting jeans from their mother. Mine must have had a manufacturer malfunction. Can't return. My daughter, I'm sure the warranty is expired. Oh my gosh, you're funny yourself there. Oh, these blocks my mom. Oh, that really hurts me. Don't worry. Why don't you guys calm down? Quit, quit uh, horsing around. He runs off these way. 
My great grandmother had 18 kids. Woo! Out of 18, three sets of twins. One first set born was my grandmother, and last was a girl in between with 16 boys. Woo! I worried everyone when I was pregnant. Oh my gosh, that is a lot. We have unicorn and ice and rainbow ice cube trays. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. What's my footwear size? Like an eight and a half to a nine. I swear, your feet grow as you get older. How was right to do a trade in where you could upgrade to a large so you could sell the trade and use it for a cheaper price? They could. That's a good idea. They would probably like only take so much off and then, cause you can buy, um, or you can buy blemished freeze dryers. If you go to them and you ask if they have blemish, they have different grades of blemished freeze dryer. So A, B, and C, and you get so much money off the, like it's like small dent or, um, I think it's a dent, it's pretty much it. Like they don't, they make sure they work, but if it's, it's just outside the dented. So based on how much damage is on the outside is how much price is released. And they have that for all the different sizes. So that's something that you could look into as well. My husband's the same. He adores me even when he probably shouldn't. I know, he puts up with so much too, but that man says, I love you to me so many times a day. You know, like he really just, just dotes on me and I really am his best friend, you know, and I would be, I would be so floored if he did, because not only does he not have the time or the energy, you know, I just, you know, just the way that he treats me, you know, so I think that I'll be able to tell if that ever does happen, because they start treating you a little differently, so I hear, I've never been cheated on as far as I know, um, but, yeah, so, let's knock on wood on that, huh, oh, that was, that was counter, okay. My man tried to cheat, but they didn't want him. <laughs> oh my gosh, shame on Giddy for asking like a child at such a young age. I know, what is he, five or something? Get over that. <laughs> I love you kids, they're so cute. I love how they love to bring the chickens in the house. I know, it's so great. I love it too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't heat your coffee at ice so good. Oh yeah, duty. I guess I could have made a nice coffee. I already heated it up. Oh, I need to go get it. About these cups, those are hot. Guys, I got whipped cream. I put whipped cream on it. The kids are gonna hear this whipped cream and come running though. Well, the pressure canner is loud and they're talking. Maybe they won't hear it. Oh my gosh, they didn't hear it. Score. Pressure canner for the win. Mmm. Oh, squeal. Everybody, everybody always needs a little whipped cream. Oh my god, if I lost my cool every time one of my kids or students did something out of line, I would be swinging the bell all the time. I know! It's like, it's something like that, too. It's like, you just, you correct them, you don't have to go overboard like that, you know? Oh, would come on his own and sit on the couch with the dogs. Oh my gosh, Rachel. Chickens can have personalities. It's so funny. I'd live with Blumish. Yeah, if I get another one, they have extra large size now, too. I would get that one. Oh, fireworks scare your goats. Oh, one of my cats is scared of me. What was that? Oh, my gosh. Wow, 
This is why I need husband here. I have to mom, and I don't like momming when I'm friending, you know? <laughs> I've called Harvest Right, and they're super nice. They are super nice there. They're a good company. There is another company that makes freeze dryers that I was thinking about reaching out to to see if um, I can sponsor. You know, they might be looking for more um, influences. So, but I haven't yet. <laughs> Your feet grow every time you're pregnant? I didn't know that. Your ears and nose never start growing. I've heard that too. You guys have like long, I tell you, my secret thing is earlobes. Especially if they're cold. I know, I'm married. So like those old men with those long earlobes. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna my husband. I can't wait for you to be an old man. I can rub up on them earlobes. You're so weird. <laughs> oh, every kid you have, you grew half an inch. That's so weird. I didn't know that. Oh, Rachel. I'm so glad you have him in your life, too. You have a really great family. So loving. Thank you, Patty. I really do. And I'm very thankful for that. Um, I haven't had to deal with abusive relations, relationships too much, you know, which is good because I wouldn't want to have to deal with it, you know. Luckily, both my parents are pretty cool. You know, I got a good husband. I got some good kids. So just do the best that I can, you know, to make sure that they grow up right. I made an iced coffee. 94 there. Whew. My nose and ears did not grow bigger. Okay, good to know, Judy. Maybe it's just a man thing. Oh, hey, Karen. My coffee is now in wine with cream. Mm -hmm. Stop with the fancy food you might hear, yeah. <laughs> Everything grew bigger when I was pregnant. <laughs> Every time. You know what I got a lot when I was pregnant? Whereas, um, what are they called? Um, their skin... They're like pimples, um, skin tags. I got lots of skin tags. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I could all three of you to settle down. You come over here one more time. The TV's getting turned off. You're going to bed. Okay. All three of you settle down. I'm getting tired of going all whiny. Daddy kicks me. One fell off the couch before I ran before. <sighs> yeah, I got skin tags. Like, I get it was really weird. I've never had them before. And I haven't had them since, but I got them when I was pregnant. Pregnancy is so weird, isn't it? The, I mean, it's amazing, but weird. Literally forgot you were heating coffee until, I saw, until you saw a comment. You have a full plate video cooking and children. Yeah, gotta have my coffee. Your kids seem so happy. Cherish them while they're little. They grow up fast. Because when they grow up, they make you a grandmother, and then all of a sudden, you're a great-grandmother. Woo, I hear it happens quickly. Oh, four Patriots. Thank you, Katie. I think that is the company I'm thinking of, the freeze dryer. You're doing fine. We know you have to be a mom and you do your live stream as well. Well, thank you. I'm glad you guys understand. There's still 98 here. Nice. Who are you all spending your evenings with me? Oh, Jupiter, they do do financing for freeze dryers. It, um, it's not financing, but it's um, a layaway program where you can order what you want and then start making payments towards, towards it and it locks in that price and holds it for you until you get it paid off and then they ship it to you. That's what I was doing. So it's not exactly a finance a finance program, but it is a layaway program, so that does kind of help. I would try and make like $500 payments on it as I could. I'm still here, just enjoy watching the lives. Best way to start my weekend. You're so funny. Oh, thank you, Jima. <laughs> They have a layaway program, Jupiter. That's what I said left. 250 down, and they pay. You can pay balance to zero, then they'll ship it to you. That's right. I see everybody already knows. My mom was a seven and had two pregnancies, and she was an eight and a half. My feet were always size 10, now 11. Man, you have trouble finding shoes. You got to count your blessings every day. You're so right, Amanda. You really never know when your life can change. I got married at 15. I've been married 42 years. Wow. Married at 15. I couldn't imagine being married at 15. That's, that's a young. I have a kit to get rid of skin tags. I get them under my arms. Interesting. I wonder if it's places where you sweat. Mine always seem to be in like, like I got it in like the inner, my inner thighs and stuff. 
HK saying hi from Seattle. What's up, HK? I'm about to go to Spokane um, in a couple of weeks to pick some cherries. You're doing a great job with everything. Oh, thank you, Patty. I appreciate that. You know, we're all just trying to do the best we can. Bye, Nanny Tam. Thank you so much for being here. It is always a blast. I enjoy my Friday Night Live so much, you guys. I had skin tags and moles. Okay, I guess it's common then. Interesting. Susan just put up 19 quarts of dill pickles, and I'm planning on canning my green beans next week. Our tomatoes have started coming in this week. There's nothing like a good tomato sandwich. Mm-hmm. I'm saving a BLT for my first tomato off the vine. No excuse for a cheater in my book. They just get greedy monsters and never been taught how to control their body functions. I agree, Ruby. Self-control, you know. Speaking of your holiday cups, I actually love Christmas. I got the cutest pair of Christmas shoes from Timu, and I am really thinking about wearing them now. That's so funny. Do it. Put on all the Christmas stuff. Go get your Grinch Grant Gants. Go get your Grinch jammies. Put those on. Hm. Oh, you have to water your garden. Yeah, I'm going to go rot on my raspberries. I'm going to make sure that I get good raspberries. How much time do we have left? Oh, my gosh. We have 20 seconds till the timer goes off. We've made it. And then I'll take you guys outside. My hair and nails were beautiful during pregnancy, other than the worst morning sickness and weight gain. Yeah. Bye, Nanny. I have skin tags on my neck, about four total. Interesting. <coughs> like, mine were just while I was pregnant. <coughs> <laughs> and then, then they went away. Alright, so our timer's going off. So all we're going to do is turn that off. And we're going to let that sit. You can even let it sit in your canner overnight. Just Especially if you're doing it this late at night. Turn off your canner. Let it sit. And then once you take them out, you want to let them sit on your counter for 24 hours. Take the rings off. Scrub them really good to get all of that grease off. And then... um Put them on your shelf. Make sure you mark and label them. Yes. Okay, are you guys ready for bed? I think it's time for bed. Why don't you turn off the TV? Go brush your teeth. I'm going to have to do bedtime, guys. Husband's still not here yet. Come on, guys. Go brush your teeth. You can tie hair around skin text to get rid of them. Interesting. Oh, good night, Patty. Thank you so much for being here. I love you in the chat. You always have some great things to say. I really appreciate it. Wow, Judy. <laughs> it's friend, man. Do they go flat sour if you leave them in the canner too long? I don't think so. Um, oh, because of the heat and stuff? No. How fast they are fine when bedtime is mentioned. Uh-huh, isn't that funny? Okay, let's go to bed. No, 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 I'm okay. Or you'll be like, all right, let's take a break. No, 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 I'm okay. I don't need a break. Giddy Lynn! Stop that! <sighs> One more sip of Go put the kids down. They sound tired. They are. I don't want to mom, though. I've been momming all day. I don't want to mom anymore. <laughs> well, well, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Hour and a half. Pretty long live. I hope I helped anybody get over any kind of apprehensives about canning. Um, I've had requests to do more canning videos. And I was like, yeah, I'll just can up this broth. I thought it was fun. Thanks for keeping me some company. Loved it. Listen to see if the child's scream is life-threatening before you respond to it. Yeah, I'm just like, oh no, okay. No, he's fine. <laughs> no, don't leave us. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to. Um, thank you guys for hanging out, though. I'm definitely, like I said, I'm going to be doing these every Friday. And then I usually do a morning um, a morning live here and there. I've been, usually been doing them on Thursday mornings, but... Everybody else, yeah, you have a good night and a good weekend. Thanks for spending your evening with me, and I'll catch you next time on Mama Birds.